Don't let the Eli Roth Presents stuff fool you. What's up everybody, back today to talk about The Stranger, written and directed by Guillermo Amedo, and he helped write Green Inferno, uh, Knock Knock, he's worked with Eli Roth before, Aftershock was another one he helped write, I believe this is his first directorial debut, and you know, Eli Roth obviously produces movies because he probably wants to crank out a bunch of low budget horror movies and, you know, post his name on the top and make some money on it, I really can't blame him, so let's get into the story a little bit. This mysterious man arrives to this Canadian town and he's looking for his estranged wife and he runs across this young boy that becomes part of the story and then there's a bunch of dickhead people that live in this town and all hell breaks loose, basically things take this supernatural twist and I don't want to ruin it for you because the mystery is probably the best part of this movie, it was kind of drawn out at the beginning, I thought by the last 30 minutes you're clear what's going on, you know about 45 minutes in you know what the guy really is and then you're kind of like oh okay let's see how they end this not so great overall let's get into the good things the first good thing was like i said the mystery i was wondering what is this guy's trip what the hell is he doing in this town exactly besides looking for his wife besides that the last 30 minutes that's when the horror and a little bit more of the action kicked in and killing so i like that the last 30 minutes i thought were pretty decent but the thing that sucked about this movie and this is me getting into the bad parts i don't really want to talk that much about this movie the bad thing is just the bad English they were using because this movie all has like Chilean actors. I think it was actually filmed in Chile. I don't understand why they didn't have it take place in South America, why it had it take place in Canada because they all try to speak English and you can totally tell, you know, they're trying to cover up their Latino accents and some of it's like voiced over because I think they probably had to redub some of the lines and stuff. It just sounded like bad sound editing with the voices, definitely. And that just, the first hour of the movie is a lot of talking, more drama, and it's kind of like, God, what the hell? These guys are trying to be, what, from what city again? I had to look it up on IMDb finally. Oh, it's Canada, supposedly, and they're clearly all Latin. I mean, you could just tell the way they even speak English. So that was just kind of like a weird thing that took me out of it. It was kind of funny in a way, sort of. Uh, another bad thing is the little kid that is like the main co-star of this movie looks like a young Richard Ramirez. Me and my wife were laughing our asses off about that. He looks just exactly like a young Richard Ramirez. I mean, I can't hold it against the kid, but it's just freaking funny. Overall, the cheesy production values. Like I said, why not just film it in Chile when you have Latino actors and then you have these like sort of voices that are just are like over pronounced or some way probably overdubbed or something in some parts and I was just like oh it just really took me out of it there's also a thing where they kind of ask you to have a little sympathy for the bad guy's father and I just wasn't buying it because he was a fucking dick too and I was like that does not work this part of this movie does not work when you're supposed to feel sorry for this guy because he's a jerk you can see why the kid's a jerk and I already talked about the sound just eh. and just overall I mean it just kind of ugh. I don't know, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. The last 30 minutes is alright. Like I said, it, the ending was pretty decent. But I can only really give it 2 out of 5 stars. I know I'm going a little hard on this movie. But I just took me out of it with the having it in Canada with Latin actors. No purpose whatsoever. Just have it take place in South America. I'm not going to mind. Have them speak Spanish. I'm not going to mind. I want to watch a good quality movie. And this one kind of had a story that seemed like it could have been a lot better if they would have fleshed it out a little more or maybe tightened it up or made it more interesting it just was not that interesting the mystery drama part the horror part was eh, all right not exactly horrible either so i don't know i can only give it a two out of five if you've seen the stranger comment down below i'm not recommending it two out of five is not a recommendation for me but if you've seen the film comment down below and let me know what you think have you ever seen aftershock either that was kind of actually a little better than this movie in my opinion uh, of course, Green Inferno hasn't come out. That's better than both these films, but yeah. Let me know down below. I guess I'm waiting on Knock Knock. I think that one is actually directed by Eli Roth. I need to check more into it. All right. See you guys soon with another movie. Bye.